I love working with fragments. I work with thousands of pieces and I put them together like as if they don't belong to each other, they don't connect, but then I like to make them together as, as a new entity that becomes something that makes sense to me. My name is Etienne Neve and I'm a 2022 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. So I brought this uh, canvas. It was actually an installation of five canvases that I ripped apart and recycled it into a new, a new work. And I brought it here to see how it works with the golden material. I wanted to experiment here on both, on both the three-dimensional and the two-dimensional work. I attached two skins that I made and decided to extend this piece and it, it, the idea here is that it becomes like a whole environment. So here I make the skins and the skins are really amazing because I can play with them flat, I can play with them sculptural, I can add a lot of materials, all the materials that Golden makes actually <laughs> fits into those skins and creates new variations. These are one of the first skins that I made and I, I played with the translucency. Some of them are more sculptural, they bend, they take their own shape. After a while, which is fascinating to me because I'm dealing with material and how material change. It's a very tiny skin, but I do use them and I love it. In the small paintings, it just adds texture and sometimes like in an underpainting, it does a very good... So here, give it respect here. <laughs> There's like a scrape of the plastics that I'm using to protect the table. Uh, the scrap is in here as a collage piece uh, here too. Here is a piece of scrap. I brought with me some canvases, small canvases to experiment and to try just the materials. And it turned into a series of landscapes uh, because the environment here is so amazing. I just fell in love with this scenery. I'm very influenced by where I am uh, and the environment I'm in. So it becomes like an absorption of what I see around me and I took pictures of the trail around Golden. There's like an amazing pond in there. The reflection of this pond with the trees, like the trunks, that just blew my mind. One of the most memorable responses to my work was from a three-year-old little girl who came to my open studio in Bushwick. She was walking back and forth and back and forth and her mother said, let's go, but she was still going. And then she said, this is amazing. This is the whole world in here. So I was, I was thinking, can I write this thing in my artist statement? I just, this is my whole world in here. I, I thought it was amazing. <laughs> That's what I remember most. My name is Beth Gilfillan and I am a 2022 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. So before coming to the residency, I intended to work with washes. I thought pouring was the way to go with acrylic paint. I thought fluid, liquid, washy. I wanted to work on grounds as well and develop some more complexity to the surface. My initial plan of working <laughs> fluidly quickly went out the window because I, after these initial layers of acrylic paint, I was ready to try out the Williamsburg paints and they are very thick and dense and there's just like this great amount of pigment and the nature of the material really lent me to working more thickly and I started wiping the paint on. I threw out the brushes and I was using my hands more. It became very satisfying and very conducive to like more layers, more development. Um, it really just kept talking to me and I really wanted to explore that whole range of color. I think the first night of the residency, the light was changing super fast and there was like amazing sunset. It really was pink, purple, blue, red. It was very dramatic and I made like this 
painting that painting and the two others, really trying to capture that energy. So I wanted to evoke the essence of those kinds of things that were happening around me. I was taking walks in the woods and coming through these different dense thickets of branches. Um, I wanted to invoke that. The work I made specifically at the Golden Foundation was more informed by place than it typically has been. How much importance the light plays in my work. There's more subtlety that I was trying to explore in my work that, you know, when you're in a studio in the city, you don't get these cues from nature that you do here. So I really feel like this body of work is, is really connected to this place. I like risk-taking, finding new things in the work. I like the works to evolve. I like the works to transform and I like the unexpected to come out of the work. So I really do lean on the materials to point me in new directions. Kia my name is Laura Williams and I am a 2022 resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. I start my paintings with a solid background colour, which I then build up from. And then when I get to the point when I'm happy with the flatness of that colour, I then start to put the figures in and decide how I'm going to lay it out. There's several female figures here. You'll see the landscape, which I have been somewhat inspired by the golden landscape that I get to look onto from the studio. So this is Lucretia. A historical figure uh, stabbed herself after being raped. I try and reclaim the identity with saints. I try and paint them intact. I use the fluid acrylic in order to build up patterns and texture, which I do for the fabrics and the background, which is why I start the background first and then put the figure in and then do all the details. Normally works like this would take me six to eight weeks and I did these in two and a half. I've never had this much painting time available to me. This one features a lot of details about my stay here. It features the furniture in the room that I stayed in, as well as Halloween. The sunsets here have been incredible. I stop every night to look at the sunset, so that was quite special for me to put that in. Also using new paint techniques in order to create the, the features and surface of the bed and different colours in here for the prayer stand that was next to my bed. I purposely put in here a paint by numbers picture, vintage one, because I heard that Sam Golden, when he worked at Bacor, did all the colours for paint by numbers. So I really wanted to put a bit of, you know, Sam and Adele in, into the picture because you can still feel their presence heavily at Golden. The whole room looks like it's done with love and you pick up on that as soon as you walk in and that's really come through in my work, I hope and the same as the, the little rugs that I've made as presents for people that I've, I've worked with while I'm here. The most memorable experience was actually having the tour around the factory, learning the golden history. It's not just paint, you know, there's a family history. It goes back into the roots of like New York art scene in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Golden is right there and the golden family are there. Getting to see the factory floor and all the people making the paint and the processes that it goes through, all the different types of paint with the, the Williamsburg as well as the watercolour, all the testing that goes into the paint, knowing all the work that's gone into every tube or pottle that you buy and the reason why it was made. Understanding the philosophy that is behind the paint has just made it an even richer product for me to use.